Yo, what's going on? It's official now. New face was there, and guess what? I just got my progress report at the lunch table with the progress report, and it's official. Look real close. All A's and a couple pluses. No minuses, no C's. No average right here, baby. New face was there. Get yours. Let's go. The Progress Report. What's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepard. Boss Brit the Most Lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. Okay, we are back for a new edition of Lunch Table Talk presented by the Progress Report. We got our special guest, New Face. New Face. Yes, sir. Oh, New Face was there. It's official now. It's official. Yeah. Hey. It's, it's official. There you go. There. Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank yes, you. sir. So, it's first of all okay, just an honor to be here, um, be a man. part of y'all um, journey. Uh, I've been watching it from the very start. Um, the artists that y'all put on y'all platform, I've been personal friends with you, with them. So it's great to see y'all support people of that stature, and, and they've grown too. So Absolutely. you know, you see people do hair and they don't have their hair done, or a dentist with bad teeth. <laughs> y'all show is oh, called yeah. the Progress Report. We yeah. gotta get better. Yeah, yeah. And, and y'all yeah. show has progressed. Yeah, 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 guests yeah. have progressed. <laughs> Bring it on! Bring it on, Bobby! Yeah. Bring it on! And your, your guests have progressed, and the so. guests you had that was starting, they they've evolved. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Yeah. Shout out to a podcast like y'all and Thank my you. dog Lala. I've been trying to do her thing, so I want to applaud her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lali, Lali. Nah, that's the bro. Like, that's the bro. Now nah, I know she a Capricorn. Nah, yeah, it's, two Capricorn really boys in the building. <laughs> So it's official. We yeah, like so <laughs> But nah, man, new we face, like man. Shady. We appreciate you being here. Um, I can't even recall how we, you know, officially first met because you always at every event. Like, mm -hmm. and I think really, I'm just like, damn, man, I gotta introduce myself to this guy because you always everywhere. You know, we be on the scene as well. So I think that's how it was. So you know, with lunch table talk, like we said, we talk about you and all types of you know random stuff. Okay. So we gonna give you a brief, you know, summary introduction. And Boss Brick got this pop quiz for you. We gonna see well, let's how go. you do. Okay. Yes, sir. We're ready. <laughs> okay, so if y'all don't know, New Face is, you know, born and raised from the city, Atlanta, you know what I mean? Detroit. He is... i just been here so long. Oh, He's still from here. Yeah, Midwest see, in the wait, building. Wait, 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 I've wait, been here wait. so yeah. long. Wait, where'd you move here? 94 Freaknik. Oh, oh, man, you from Atlanta. Okay, see, see, but that's still, but you, okay. You a baby. No, I'm adopted. That's 30 years. I'm adopted. He adopted. Yeah. I'm adopted. We yeah. all adopted, we, really. Adopted, but so that's interesting. I didn't know that. Right, yeah. But we're going to keep that shit rolling because yeah. <laughs> I just assumed you were from Atlanta. But she sorry. made your bio. She made a whole bio for you. <laughs> she was like, Chat GPT, <laughs> put together a bio for New <laughs> Face. Love, for New Face. And they were like, oh, born and raised. Hey, Grady, baby. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Chat to Kanye West. Hey. <laughs> I'm weak. Well, okay. Well, shit. Hopefully, the rest of my info is right now. Just <laughs> nah, but you know, New Face, like I said, he's everywhere on the scene, anywhere where it's hip hop, you know, motion, culture, and all that good stuff going on. You know, a hip hop historian, an entrepreneur. So, any event that's going on here in the city, New Face was there. That's his, you know, hashtag. Um, your work, you have memorabilia from CDs to merch, something, anything tangible that you might give, you know, a talent. I consider you the black Norad Ward, respectfully. <laughs> um, if y'all know who Norad Ward yeah. is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just like I said. Do, do. <laughs> yeah, and you know your work has been featured on the Rock the Bells, um, you know exhibits, so many dope things, and like I said, just with you being a real student and fan of the game, I admire that so much. So again, thank you for being here with thank us. Thank you, man. I received it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you definitely are unique, like just in that, and I've definitely seen you <laughs> at so many events. You know what I mean? Literally. And I ain't gonna lie, for the longest before, like I started seeing you on Instagram, yeah. I was like, yo, what does he do? But yeah. Then, <laughs> but then I just see you at, like popping up on everybody, like, yo, look at this magazine, yeah. look at this. And I I don't really feel like I've seen that before. So that yeah. is dope. That's really and dope. That, seeing the artist say that it lets me know how rare it is because Absolutely. it's like I've turned that into a relationship. Like I'm yeah. really friends with these people. And just to hear you go back through the catalog is just like overwhelming because sometimes mm -hmm. I don't even know what I do. Like mm -hmm. people ask me and I, I kind of don't. I say I'm supporting my friends or I'm support. I'm just support really supporting my friends. If I'm at an event, mm -hmm. it's somebody on that flyer that I really fuck with. Yeah. Now,
Now, whatever comes extra, if Jeezy show up or, or T.I. or Killer Mike mm-hmm. in the building, that's extra to me. Yeah. But I'm really there to support my friend, a DJ, if it's core, anybody, I'm supporting somebody. And everything else is extra. Now, I might do my research and be like, oh, it's so and Big Daddy Kane or yeah. LL there. Yeah. Oh, I got something for him. I, I got my back. Mark- okay. I keep my marker strapped. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I keep uh, my sharp smart man, ready. smart so, man. Yeah. I'm almost always ready. But to your credit, like, I really don't know what I do. And, I, you know, I'm a culture preserver, a hip hop historian. I say, like, um, but my blueprint is Clarence Avon out of, out of Los Angeles. Like, I seen The Black Godfather on uh, Netflix. And when I seen it, he passed ironically, but it was like Obama, George Clinton, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Quincy Jones, talking about things that he did for them, moves that, and the world don't even know this man, but these people that we look up to is like, yeah. no, he made one phone call and this happened. So to, for me to do that for somebody like Fabo, who's not got a Grammy because of our relationship. Wow, salute, salute. You know what I'm saying? So that's great to work with artists and see them grow and be like, I was just there. Like whether you, they gonna make it with or without me, but yeah. the fact that, you know, they remember. And luckily Absolutely. I've been around people that do remember. It's not like, and it, whether they do or not, we know, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's documented. Yeah, I need weird. more friends like you, man. What? No, pulling up army. Really you feel me? Coming to support you. Heard? Yeah, people's not even like people don't want to be the person to to show that appreciation yeah. or to show like, hey, this is what you did. Mm, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's just not people like that no more. Yeah, like you, you show, you made it cool to show what support looked like, and you yes. got whole nuts. And that's that's what yeah. made me know it was rare because I'm like. I would repost somebody that I really fuck with, and they'd be like, oh, thanks, OG, man, that meant a lot. But I'm like, it just took me a it's button. Simple. And I'd be like, but right. your sister, your, your punk. But they said they cut their own family, don't they? They were like, you, like, young, real, Ralph, real. young Ralph be like, man, New Face done did more for me than, like, people in my whole career. And this Absolutely. is Ralph. Like, this is a legend. Mm-hmm. Faith look, the OJ to do like this. Hey, that, like, like, money. But it'd be nothing to me. But yeah. I'd be like, but to them, I, it lets me know the value now. I just yeah. didn't know. I'm just thinking I'm just being a supportive friend. Mm-hmm. But nah, that lets you know how rare that is in that space that I'm in. So I'm just walking in it, walking in my yeah. purpose, whatever comes with it. Amen. Yeah. Hard. Amen. I mean, how does it feel to be titled the Black Nord War of Hip Hop? Um, it's it's great to be um compared to him. Uh, I do have a little thing with the black version of anything. Okay. But that's just the one thing that, because I ain't a, another version of somebody else. I always wanted to be the only me. Absolutely. I always say I walk in my, I know my lane because I'm the only one in it. Like, I want to do whatever everybody else doing, I want to do it different. Yeah, there are fans out there, but do you, you know, I, I got a Nipsey autograph, but is yours autographed by him? Did you know him? Did you know, he, he know his kids? He knew my daughters. Like, that relationship, when he had yeah. the show, he calls me. Like, that. that's a little bit different. Mm-hmm. The relationship is more than me than any of the autographs, you know what I'm saying? This is just to step in mm-hmm. because you always remember. I, always, I was a fan at first, so I seen people come, can you take a picture? Can you, can you, can you? I always wanted people to be the person that says, I can do this for you. Thank you. Thank you. And just leave. That's so rare, I mean, man. I'm trying to like, tell you. That's hard to find and, and out here. Remember that type of yeah, thing. Yeah, And I noticed that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody go to the rapper and be like, I rap. Yep. I just like, that's that's backwards because th- th- how they going to help you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I always notice the security, the person with the clipboard, the young yeah. lady, the, the manager, like everything. I built the relationship with them. So by the time I got in the room, everybody know me in the room except the artist. And the artist like, well, damn. Well, yeah. shit. They yeah. left out. Like, yeah. what do you do? And then we started building, and yeah. that's how it came. But just being a genuine person, man, you know what I'm saying? So that's great. And and just to show my daughters, like, social currency looks like. You know, I got mm-hmm. a daughter named Karma to show her, like, what Karma really means. But I got to tell you what it means. I got to show you what it means. So that's why we talk about being solid outside. My my face card got to be, because I'm everywhere, gotta right? Be, so if imagine yeah. if I did some flaw shit, it's... it's it's hey, it'll up, be on right? the net by now, you know what so. I'm saying? So unless they waiting for me to do, you know, uh, you know but we here, though, yeah. we here, we winning though. For so sure, it's just for sure. Be here though. Respect, man. Mm-hmm. Well, we got to get into this pop quiz, bro. Yeah, because what? Man, first of all, they sent like... you a hip hop historian. Yeah. I feel like I ain't even got to give you the options, okay? Oh, shit, okay. So what's a quick pop quiz? Yeah. Multiple choice. But if you like already know the choice. answer, feel free to just let me know what's okay. up. All right. But the thing is, if you get it wrong, we got to take a shot. Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all got those strong shots it. too. Yeah, okay, no, for real. All right, so first question. What was the first rap song to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart? You need the options? Yeah. All right, is it A, MC Hammer, You Can't Touch This? Is it B, Young MC, Bust a Move? Is it C, Tone Lock, Tone Wild Loke, Thing? Tone Loke. Tone Loke, sorry. Wild Thing. Or is it D, wow. Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby? Damn. I'm going to bet on black and say MC Hammer. Bet on black? Hey, who you think? 
Bet on black. He from, he from New York. Vanilla Ice. It's Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice. Wow. Like you knew it, talking about I'm a bet on black. I'm bet on black. I just wanted to say that. I've been, I've been wanting to say that because I. Hey, my man sound like Issa Rae. Nah, yeah, right. Everything black. Okay, there. Long, settle down. I'd rather take the shot to say vanilla ice. Okay, I hear that. Ah, uh, period. <laughs> Respectfully. Honoring. All right, bonus question. Um, what was the first ever hip hop song you heard? Mm. The message. Broken glass everywhere. They ain't about to. Oh, cause I don't. Are you rapping the or message, is Grandmaster? Okay, I'm I'm yeah, young. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm born We're '93. I'm born '93, so I'm yeah. like oh, the name oh, of the song. Okay. Got auntie. <laughs> well, I start. I could maybe go in your generation, like uh, okay. some, um, sometimes I stare at the room, and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscience call. It's telling me I need a girl who's as sweet as a dove. That's I need love. That's LL. I need a. But that's yeah. need that's love. still before my time. Capricorn oh, that's still brother. Before. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm born '93, so shit. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Like <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. Okay, okay. There, there we go. There we go. go. Okay, I got my <laughs> generation. Pock, pock. All right, next question. <laughs> Which of these names has Snoop Dogg not gone by? <laughs> is it A, DJ Snoopadelic? Is it B, Snoop Lion? Is it C, Snoop Zilla? Or is it D, Snoop Sonic? Has he not gone by? Oh, that's Nigga, they had a lot of names. I know Snoop too. Zilla. He been he been Snoop Zilla before. Yeah, he been Snoop Zilla before. Damn, the the correct answer is Snoop, Snoop Sonic. Sonic. Yes. Yeah, oh. I'm thinking because he works He's never. Anderson yeah. Pack. Yeah. Hey, Black. Hey, Black. Hey, Black. Hey, Black. All things Black. Funny thing, I got the doggy. So I got doggy style. The the VHS. Classic. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I said VHS. Wow. This was the porn that he did. He did. Oh porno. shit! I forgot. I pulled it out Wait, on 85 South Show, and he was like, "Oh, I filmed it in my house," and, and his wife was mad. He was like, "Boy, you got the doggy style VHS." He was just hosting. He went like, "Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, Hosting the porn is no for all. Like, hold on, Snoop was doing porn too. Yeah, yeah, he did yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. But it was called. But it was called doggy style. Yeah, so, that's okay. perfect. That's hard. That's classic. Classic. You know, yeah, that's hard. Okay. Hey, some people don't want to be rem uh, reminded of shit they done did. Like, bro, put that shit away. I can only imagine the I shit that people got in their archives. Do y'all know what they're going to be showing us when we get older? Like, hey, remember this night? Oh, oh I'm like, hold oh, no. uh, oh, on. I know you got some. <laughs> with Bow Wow, with Magic City, Lou Will called me to do a show. And so with the podcast, I'm pulling out old stuff. And I pulled him a yeah. picture out of him and my daughter back at a celebrity yeah. basketball game. He had just cut his hair. But uh. we in Magic City. So he's like, bro, where the fuck did you get? This is crazy. This is yeah. Oh shit! Like it was just the back, like yeah. it said, like out of every. I got a Bow Wow autograph coming out of like Rose Bar. Like it just, yeah. you never know where I see them. I just stay prepared. And they be like, bro, where you? How you still got this? Yeah. See, and when they see that, that's probably like nostalgic for them. Like they Absolutely. probably can't remember how it feels to be mm -hmm. at that point in their life. That's so my that's, brand that's name, super. by the way, too. Nostalgia. Oh, that's the museum that I had. Nostalgia. Yo, not only that, artists. They be so on go, they forget the shit. That's what they I'm done saying. Did. Like, yeah. Yeah, so you be like, bruh. <laughs> I don't even, I'm sure so many times they don't even have the stuff you want. No, no, that, that's, it's three signs that I know I got them. Usually when they be like, oh man, and they call their cameraman and then they document yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or they pull out their phone. Yeah. Or they be like, man, I don't even have this. Or like T Pain, he put the shit in his pocket. Like, uh. Oh, you still got this? He took my Trick Daddy cassette tape. He's like, I learned how to make beats by listening to this, man. Wow. That's crazy. He slowly put it in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, is he doing it? I'm like, I need that back. But yeah. those are the three signs that I like. I hit up DJ Monte, like, listen, Monte, okay. I'll let your boy walk out yeah, with that, right. but I need that back. Well, I, I, I right did that pull back. a picture of Fat Monte, He because I had a picture of oh, T-Pain. And T-Pain was like, oh, that's shit. Fat Monte. Yeah. Oh, that's Monte that's you yeah, I did not know that. Hey, I know to be healthy. With the tall tees, with the tall yeah. tees. Oh my God. Hey, Shout Monte. out to Monte. I love Monte. Hey, I, 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 I love Monte, Monte That's my, my goat, my hero, with that's his two real. wives. Hey, my nigga lives at, hey, at the same damn time. I tell him every day, man. That's, that's goals right there, bro. Big goals, my nigga. Man. I was trying to see if you want a stud shit. I was low like, yo, Monte, you all need a stud over there. No. Which I wouldn't be mad at myself. When I, learned, you I seen him with the picture, and I know his wife, so I knew one. But yeah, it was I, yeah. I was like, who is her? Yeah, friend? Shantae, that she had the Aquarius too. He hit me back in the day, like my wife. I was like, bro, yeah, you just gonna... nigga. Yeah. yeah, both of them. Yeah, both of yeah. them, nigga. Ain't Monte a Capricorn? And Shantae, hey, like, let's just she be had the clear. Like Monte is a Capricorn. Y'all need that Monte money. Okay. We know. 
Trust me. Lots All right, last question. We're almost okay. there. Last question. All right, look, last one. In the early mid 1990s, the queen of rap, Missy Elliott, embarked on her music career with which R&B girl group? Oh, you got this one. Got is this. it A, TLC? Is it B, in both? Is it C, sister? Or is it D, SWB? Sister. Yeah, I'm right. gonna get this one. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Missy, Missy, man. About shout to come to, to Atlanta Missy. too with uh, what Buster Rhymes. I want to say so. I want to go. I want to meet you, new face. I feel like you got backstage pads and all kind of shit. I gotta come see that one. You got yeah, any Missy so stories? Good. You ever met Missy? I met Missy very early when she was messing with ne Gina Thompson when she first. Oh did the he, damn. He, 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 okay. He, 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 she came wow. to CAU and, okay. and she was had the you know the finger yeah. waves, the yeah, hair, uh, the suit and everything. CAU because that's where I went to college at. Clark. So all Clark. the artists. That was the the impetus of like the press run so like, yeah that's right like, mm. everybody came there and i was just like a student there so my room looked like a like a, a rap fans room but i also had a store so i was always i worked at kroger's so my okay. first job so i was taking the big k pops and the chips and the blunts and the sodas and sugar i had everything in my dorm room so my room and i had the first <laughs> playstation like oh, damn. i had a playstation my everybody wanted to be in your room me a playstation right. so my room was always like Lit. open like i, I kind of found out i messed up because i never like I had to leave my room for just peace, like, cause it got to that Damn. point. Damn. And then, but shout out to a friend. So I had left, and when I came back, bro gave me like this: all the money you made while you was gone. Thank you. That's solid. That's Thank solid. you. And I'm in a new city, and that just makes that's. Make, and it's people like that that remind me, like, just be solid no matter what. Because he could have said we closed or kept them. I didn't know, but when a nigga, bro, Phil, shout out to Phil, man. He that's brought awesome. shout out to Phil, money, man. man. Mm -hmm. I love that for you. But hold up, you ain't say like when you met her though. Oh, CAU. CAU, yeah. yeah. CAU. Oh, yeah, but it wasn't no like specific memory or nothing. You just no, met we her did early. it. She was like an in store, so um, they would always come. Um, they gave out posters, so she signed the Damn. poster. Damn, yeah, that's hard. Um, so the first group that I met when I got here was Outcast. Like my very first Damn. Atlanta autograph was Outcast. I still that's have hard. the photo. And Andre and them, they signed AT Aliens. Elevators Woo! was out. Damn. Me and you Classic cassette shit. tape, um, and that so CAU was like the birthing place of all the artists because coming from Detroit, it was rare to see these type of artists or had these type of yes, access fact. or yes. the environment yeah. where, where I was in wasn't conducive because it was the street, so I couldn't really you know be yeah. at that dude in yeah. those environments because I remember a time like I lived across the street on Seven Mile, um, the hip hop mm. shop was right across the street. That's Eminem where he started rapping. So mm -hmm. I would go over there and see Proof and Denine and Slum Village and oh, Royce the Five Nine piece. freestyling. So by the time I got to Atlanta, he was in the Up and Smoke tour with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg at Lakewood Fork McPherson. So I'm at this show like, damn, the last time I seen him was on Seven Mile and he was, you know, M. That's or, crazy. Or, or be a Meech. Like and I'm coming to Atlanta. When I get to Atlanta, it's the world is ours billboard. So <laughs> just to see that evolution with that. Yeah. Wow. That's hard. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Britt get back in her question, but why are we talking about Detroit? I mean, what you know, was it was it college or, or what led you to come? Um, so I went. Yeah, it was high school, so I okay, came here. Gotcha. Um, and it was a, a a field trip. Um, so Detroit alumni. So anybody that came to Clark or went to Clark, they came to Atlanta to recruit people for to come to Atlanta. Oh wow! Okay. For CAU, gotcha. Morehouse, Morris Brown. So oh, they, they went said, to Detroit to yeah, recruit. Gotcha. to recruit. So there okay, was a tight. cookout with a guy. And this guy, shout out to um, R.I.P. Damon Thomas. <laughs> Damon Thomas, this is my brother, um, but he was already here in Atlanta. He filmed Shoulder Lean, Laffy Taffy, Twenty Folds for T.I. Oh my God! So he was already lit in the city. Yes. So, so he was able to like tell my mama like, <laughs> if he come here, he, I got on it, and he put me you. in these That's homes, hard. right? So he put me I in these been. homes. So I'm like here. So when I got here, it was a field trip, and so they took us to all the campuses and said we got two hours a break, right? So I just hopped on the bus. I hopped on the Marta, and when I got there, I it was Freaknik. Damn, you didn't so, know you was going. Yeah, no, I didn't know nothing about this. So, <laughs> no. so I hopped on the bus. He like, why the bus shit? So I'm like, that's too short. No, but I'm just like, damn, that's too short. That's Chris, that's Jay, like, damn. Lennox Mall looked like a club. So I'm just like, damn. what the fuck? Like, oh shit, this is, I'm like, this is red. That man. probably this changed y'all life. Like, like, I'm a rap coming fan, from so Detroit never seen, too, like, though. I only seen them on like MTV. Yeah. Or, like, wow. TV. So I'm seeing them in the flesh. And I had a Polaroid camera mm -hmm. and I had a VHS, like a, a thing. So I'm recording, documenting all this at the time. So but when after that over, I'm like, I, I just got to move back. I told him, but I said CAU college. So at least your family like, cool. But in my head, I'm like, 
When the next yeah. freak nigga? Okay. Like, like when the next freak Oh, yeah, you can not say, I, I want to go because the freak nigga. I want to go to freak nigga. I mean, right CAU. Yeah. My mom, she would bring me back. Like, so we from, Yo, mom. Ass, we from Cincinnati, Ohio. Me and Britain. Yeah, yeah, West in the building. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. So my mom, dead ass, like, every summer, she would bring me back these cool ass graphic shirts. Oh, yeah. Shirts. Like, all the shit. That's the how CDs. she got pregnant with her. But I'm saying, all the CDs. <laughs> What's up? All what's the up? shit, like, what's, what's up? What's up? Yeah. 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 I see my mama. <laughs> I had the video. You know what? The documentary they just put out. I'm about to say, was any of your footage in there? Footage, yeah. you I was just about to ask that, as yeah. it motherfucking should yeah. be. And the Magic City doc coming soon. That's coming nice. soon. So to be a part of Makes those sense. docs with my footage and just. They That's was going hard. through it and they paid me for like eight minutes and only like used two. So as they should, like, that's God nice. you like, yo, what you doing is paying off. No, for real. Like, nigga, so, that's hard. That's how I started. <laughs> nigga, I was like hard. freak nigga. And I'm like that's college. Hard, so I'm going to come to college. So when I got to college, so imagine just CAU, just that. It reminded me of like different world. Do the yeah, right thing. Hey, it's yeah. all black people. Yeah, yeah. Like Detroit is like that, but Atlanta was different from the fashion to the women. Like I was just, I was blown away. So I was like, I'm never leaving, right? So. Ooh. CAU with all that and then when I get there it's like the people now we know but DJ Mars DJ drama Canon since mm. I seen them making beats and DJing in the lunchroom Damn. for seven splitting hundred and fifty dollars so and trauma <laughs> DJ trauma who DJs for like Dave Chappelle now and, and Mars DJs Dave for Monica Chappelle. like so yeah. I see I'm drama we know DJ drama yeah. game he, he used to be DJ working at Marcos Peter too. yeah he worked at Marcos oh, Peter yeah. Uh, Stiegel, so I'm seeing them and they wow. early elements and stages. I'm just a fan of them, but to see where they at now, so that lets me know. So mm. to your point, I came here for college, but Freaknik got me here. And Shout so, out to the Freaknik, changing no. lives out here, man. Mm -hmm. What? Oh no, that was last uh, trivia question. Oh, okay. oh yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. I'm like, <laughs> I don't mean to jump, but like, all right, so you do have so much exclusive ass footage, so. Do you reach out to companies like when you see them working on documentaries like hey yo i got something y'all need for this i do it the last two years because i had a comment like i just like shout out to like ti and killer mike like they have conversation with me saying like what you do needs to be monetized like i was Hell never yeah. motivated about money so mm -hmm. everything i did the last two years ago was just really off the love anything mm -hmm. i help i never said that so when tip and them had that conversation like how can we help you monetize it like mm -hmm. so my frame of thought anytime somebody asked me to do it then i'm like what's the budget or what's mm -hmm. the you know i'm speaking money too yeah and then i've been getting it so i'm like in my head like Man, i should have been doing it but it just wasn't my time that's right but to your point um, now i've started doing that so yeah. to your point the, um atlanta united they reached out to me they had a atlanta doc for atlanta footage so all my Outcast stuff is in it. Um, it's Damn. Not coming soon, but gonna wait, I'm a part of that. Magic City, like Ooh, we talked about. Recipes. Um, so, but recipes. yeah, I've been tagging them lately, like Netflix, Hulu. Yeah, keep and, doing that. And then the, the Kanye West documentary, that really changed my mind. Jesus. Mm. Because uh, Genius. Nah, G where he was Genius. recording. Genius. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because uh, Cootie from Cootie. Chicago. Yeah, that shit was he had awesome. all those years of footage. And I'm thinking, if 24 million was the bar for what they mm. made for that. <laughs> I can tell that same story that he, cause he only followed Kanye West. Yeah. yeah. That same story I can probably tell about 10 rappers in Atlanta, True. 10 singers in Atlanta, 10 comedians in Atlanta, 10 True. DJs in Atlanta, 10 tattoo artists. And I can tell that story like multiple times, yeah. I swear to God. So I'm like, and I don't need 24 million. Like, right, right, like right. one for each. Now you know <laughs> I slowed it. Like I remember uh, Jeezy saying, uh, like 50 cents sold 10 million records one time. I sell 10 million, 1 million record 10 times. Like, yeah. no matter what, I, yeah, I, I get there. You. Like, I, I'm just one of them person that take the stairs. I don't never yeah. want anything that's immediate. I don't want nothing that's rushed. I only want what's on, I'm on God's But that's side. what yeah. made you so that's great, because you got stuff from back in the day, and you took your time. Now yeah. it's so valuable. You know what I mean? Make sure nobody steal your shit. Oh, yeah. Well, now, so what you do you do? Yeah, to protect it, like. Insurance, but I mean. Insurance. So you got to think. People tell me I have everything. Like, I, I when I moved here, I had a house fire. Like, and I literally mm -hmm. lost everything. Like, mm -hmm. there was a moment, like, like in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. I stayed on Wesley Chapel. Mm -hmm. And my roommate um was there uh when I got home with my girl at the time. Shit, the building was up in flames. Ooh, like, God. everything. Yeah, and I'm from Detroit, so you're thinking, like, gators, coochie sweaters. I had money in a shoebox. So imagine a point to where it's like. I knew where my money was and I'm like, oh, okay, if the floor sank, it should be around here, right? So I'm <laughs> imagine you doing this. All right, there's a hundred, there's a hundred, there's a hundred. And then take it to the Federal Reserve. As long as the line is in it, mm, they'll okay. take it. So, oh, wow. okay, okay, okay. so imagine your life savings is like up to yeah. some person saying, Well, that's a good one. That's a bad one. That's Damn. a good one. With a baby on the way. Like, that's a good one. So mm. I had no clothes. I started so or basically, and then I still have cassettes where I can't open the credits because of the moisture and the Wow, you know, that type of thing. So when people tell me I have everything, and so to your point, to stolen, yeah. 
it's a material thing at the end of the day. I can't really put, I'm, I'm alive in the stuff to experience. That's what New Face was there, was about, like the, being present in the moment. Like, yeah. they can't steal that. Yeah, yeah. That can't burn down. So no matter what, if they do, that's fine. It's been documented, it's there. But that's what's up. I'll protect it. But if so, having somebody steal it, I hope it's worth as much as it is to me. It, it's impossible. You, 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 and what you gonna do? Where you gonna show that? Because my, my circle and my tribe gonna be like, bro, that ain't yours. Yeah. I made a shirt for Shaquille O'Neal one time, and then my girl seen somebody wearing it underground. Oh, wait. It'd be the underground. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. It'd be well, the underground. So he, but she was like, where did you get that? He was like, I got it. It's mine. She's like, no, my man made that for Shaq. Like, how do you get it? Then he basically was like, well, when he come to Atlanta, he comes over to my aunt's house. It was there. And then, you know. But, oh, Shaq yeah, been all running so, through these ACL streets. So it's just stuff like that. Where Shaq, you like, yeah, I'm saying. I know a few. <laughs> biggest fault. Hey, so, <laughs> I know a few bitches that Shaq fuck with Shaq. Shaq is having fun. Stop playing. It's a dress. It's a jersey it's dress a, on that oh. Okay. All right, so New Face, you got stuff in there? Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, 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 Okay. I think, okay, while we talk about mm -hmm. the monetization part, that was mm -hmm. that was a question you had. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I did have a question, but you mm -hmm. made it sound like you wasn't even trying to get no money off but of it. I am now. But I did nah. want to know, because I think it's so dope that, like, you are behind the scenes, and everybody wants to be in front of camera, but I, I appreciate somebody that, like, is a historian of all this, mm -hmm. right? So how can people make money outside of what you just said behind the scenes? So my, my first thing is when I look at anybody that I ever meet, and if I really fuck with them, how can I add value? Mm -hmm. That's it. No matter whether they pay me or not, add value. And But what I did was just add value so much to the point where they – Start saying like Pastor Troy just would be random like what's your cash up and and I'd be like no he's like no you gotta just take this why y'all ask me that you know what I'm saying so it's like <laughs> why? I add value <laughs> yeah so add value so that's the foundation of it just adding value yeah, and then the money will come as long as you add value yeah. Yeah. and that's what it is it's like so even my footage because I'm always have footage and people start be like you got that footage from there and they they gotta realize like my life like my yesterday and your yesterday looks a little bit different because I've done so many things so mm. even my footage. Um, paid promo on Instagram. Like every at every end of the month, I do paid promo because like my followers, like it may not be the most, but the quality of my followers who yes. follows me and who yes. actually engage, that's priceless because I see I see who watch me and I and it and it rather like Trans Lee told me he was like man you might get like a hundred likes on it but. Look, little Who John liked Swiss it? Beat, yeah. Swiss yeah. pieces in the comments. Or Monica would be like, yep. oh, I didn't even realize it's been 20 years from my first album. And then she'd be like, I'm going to post it, send it. And then they post, like, it's just something deeper than face value to me. Like, the post and everything, that's different. But the relationship means yeah. more to me. So to your point, it's just adding value to it. Yeah. And then when, if people see it, and if you don't, I'm, I always, I know at the end of the day, I found a way to make legitimate money in other ways where I'm not dependent on anybody else. But I built so many relationships where, it's just culmination of it, like you know, what yeah. I'm saying? So supporting each one, like a, um, you know, a, a Quisha, a Tone, or an early artist, because I know they about to blow J Lock. Like I just see the potential because I know what it looks like. Yeah. Because I've celebrated people like a Killer Mike. I seen that ten years ago. Yeah. He'll tell you, I seen that ten years. I was buying it in stores, so to see what that, I know what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. And all I knew what to do, because Carlos would be like. You need somebody that shows you that you was there. Like, damn, I didn't even see myself, but you need somebody doing this. Mm -hmm. So I see artists on stages for like um, showcases, but everybody on the stage, mm -hmm. everybody on the stage, and I'm Hello? like, well, who's in the? Who, who, I always who say is, that. Who is doing this? And I'd rather that than yeah on the stage because i'll do that the first cash money rough rider tour when little wayne came i was in the nose i see your cash money right there oh yeah i First did people, cash yeah. money in la that's the reason i went to the bet awards okay Shout out to hannah king man you Shout out to the goat, hannah, hannah, hannah king the goat, hannah, hannah made our goat. Goat. yeah she no did. she the yeah. goat man and it didn't go she, she, LA. Did. she humbled herself for us okay no, no, no. Oh, she ain't yeah. the she whole and my first the first event when i got here was the bmf uh big meat oh yeah party account Compound. Damn. So when the Lions were like Big Meech party, yeah. like Compound, that was my first event. So to oh, be wow. called by her, like although it didn't go how I wanted to plan, like it went like God wanted to go. Absolutely. So to have my collection oh, on display for like Birdman, <laughs> okay, so. Two Chains, Money, like my shit was on display at a beautiful exclusive yeah. event. That's hard, but I guess. And, and I got the call from her. So shout out to Hannah Kane. Yeah. Getting the call so, from Hannah. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. Oh, oh, what her bitch dog in her arm? No, shout out to dog, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. No, so I think what you said is very important. Just in general, instead of asking for like favors and stuff, mm -hmm. always ask somebody what you could do for them, yeah. and then. In the back end, you're gonna be so like 
one of a kind that can't nobody yeah. compete with. And the you. one thing I do different, I never tell anybody what I'm what I want to do for them or what I'm gonna do. I just mm -hmm. do it. Absolutely. I just do it, right? And then I show you the results of it. Now, with how you receive it and everything, that's that's fine. I don't I don't get nothing from that. The joy is given. God mm -hmm. gives to the giver. So uh, the universe is gonna take care of me. It's a good man like, right here, y'all. This is like, a good the man. Is gonna take care of me. And the thing that keeps me humble is like when I go home and I got four daughters. So like they don't give a shit about none of this. Like I'm just daddy they to them. You, so yeah. so that makes me like Absolutely. take this shit off. And no matter what, they see me for. They seen every part of me. Yeah. And they love me unconditionally. Yeah. The same it. thing with their mothers. Like it's no drama. Like it's good. every. I don't do drama. I don't do everything. So yeah. it's peace. I got to keep peace around me, my circle, my tribe, anything. And if it don't jail with me, I'm cool with that. And I'm cool I with my it. circle. So to your point, the money's coming. It's going to yeah. come. I see the longer. Yo, you're going to get blessed in, in a way you don't even. And I'm on the progress report. Like, okay. the, the, like the, stock is, the stock is rising. Like come a lot of like, I always the told me it was next coming. Stop, right? And I never no. was like, oh, when it's coming. Like, no, it's, it's no, when it's supposed time, to happen. And you wasn't no cameraman. Or were you? No, I just. Just was there always so in Detroit. I always had a Polaroid camera. I, mm -hmm. I always had a camera because I grew up with my grandparents, they had the photo album, yeah. And I noticed the whole family would just be looking at like I was, missed them days. Yeah, uh, the, I seen how people looked at memories, right? And yeah. oh, I remember that. So I was always that dude. So mm. my brother and my cousins was in the street. So every car with the hundred spoke Dayton's and the all the cars they had, and I'm mm. getting dropped off at high school. I had like Rolexes early on because of my circle. So I was always documenting that shit. So I'm like FUBU, Kooji, everything. So I was always taking pictures. So I just transferred it when I got to Atlanta and I, and every phone. So like this phone going to go back to 2012. Then the phone before that is 10 years before that. Then I got the flip phone. For, so, and then I had the camera, then the VHS, like. So you still got those original VHS and stuff? Oh, or yeah. Yeah. He a time traveler. Yeah. I, I see what's going on. Yeah, right Killer Mike said he like Highlander from The Watcher. Like, yeah. He, he like The yeah. Watcher. Like, he just yeah. document shit. And just, uh, but my thing, too, I, uh, Quantum Leap. Like, I give a yeah. joke. Like, I want to remake Quantum Leap. If you're familiar Ooh, with that, okay. like, where the dude woke up and he was just in a situation and he don't know why he there. He has to fix it, but it's up to the show where he finds out what he's supposed to fix. So, mm. I look at myself like that, like I'm in, in, in people's lives too, like every relation that I have, like how did I add value, but let's make a movie at each one of those moments, you know what I'm saying? So like even taking Quisha, like the domain that she opened in one, and then taking her, she opened birthday bash, like to just see that in real time, yeah, two days major. in a row, right? So yeah. to see that in real time and see that these people deserve these positions, not nothing, nothing was contrived, like no, right. you really work for your moment. So I know it's possible and I know my moment is coming because I seen others moment. I seen progress mm -hmm. report start out early. I seen your journey. Yeah. We've had coalition DJs. Tony Marie showing me her videos from early coalition. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like everybody yeah, has that, that journey, right? So we, we got, got the archives, man. Yeah. yeah, we got the files. So yeah, this is the okay, gym well, too, we man. Let's Hold on. The progress support. So we're going to do show and tell. Okay. Oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's how, really, that's my high school. I would get put out of school because I was the first person in school with the He was showing out. The chronic. The chronic. <laughs> yeah. Because like, yeah. okay. we were reading the credits later, like Snoop Dogg, like everybody in the teacher would take my cassette tape. I just remember that. Mm. Source magazines. I would get in trouble. Not you I was like, like, why you got little Kim? Uh-uh, put yeah, that the up the there. Yeah, the hard poster, right? Ah, you know, like, all this shit. So I, was, I was definitely show and tell King. I might, That's I might hard. do that That's one. That's hard. So, and what's so, this too right here? My bad. Oh, no, that was just my, my uh, make sure I, I get my memory and my thoughts. Oh, okay. I love it. I love you know, it. Shout That's out to Scotty. You write like hip-hop. Like, he write like hip-hop. Like, <laughs> Shout out to Scotty A. Such a Capricorn. Only Lala writes out every. every no. Only Lala walks around with a fucking scheduler with a. Look, that's some Capricorn. It's old because <laughs> Erica Badu. On the part. No, Erica Badu said, "Whatever you do, you write it down. You'll always remember it." Like oh, that's true though. That's just me. Like I yo, I said, I always say. Lala remind me about my wedding day. Uh -huh. I, I told her because we had to postpone it because of COVID. Uh -huh. So I it told her like y'all would probably on. do like around like August next year. She she texted me like y'all still doing August. I was like, shit, we might as well. Boy. And we and that's when we started planning. That bitch reminded she, me. She, she, you just forgot. Yeah. <laughs> we about to throw it out, man. Yeah, I mean, it was no rush. Oh, so we've been together this long. Fuck right. it. Like, 
what you got? What you got? I'm going to tell. So first of all, the bag. Man, the bag hard. The so, bag. The bag. Shout out to Ooh. Houston Leathers, right? Um, mm. he does. Well, I know it was leather. Uh, Houston Leathers, custom black on out of Houston. Um, if you look Anything at the 85 black. South show, um, he's always repping um BT awards when Carlos Chico and DC Young yeah. Flat wore the leather and custom. That was Houston Leathers. So he was always on there, that and he's hard. like. He would see me do my new face thing in a book bag. He was like, "Bro, you gotta just evolve how you doing. You putting your stuff on the floor. You you gotta be a new like new face is a brand. Like this is my friends telling me this. So he's like, I'm gonna make you um a, this outfit. He made me a leather jacket and Carlos was like, I'll pay for it. I didn't even know <laughs> like Carlos like shout out to Carlos Miller first that's of all. Just up. like that's my dog. Like I seen him doing comedy at throwbacks when yeah. people was trying to do comedy when people playing pool. We in the strip clubs <laughs> doing all that. Damn. And he's been just solid ever since. He was at the BET Awards, but. Houston Leathers made this for me. He's like, when you go That's somewhere, good. it's going to say New Face. He put hip hop on it, and he also made me this bag. Nice. That's hard. Um, it says New Face on it. It's handmade, not like a machine, custom copper piping. That motherfucker nice. Face, new Face right there. And so Damn. I'm open this up. The first thing I'm going to pull out is the hip hop 50 years of hip hop at the Atlanta Falcons game. Okay. That's, That's where every, Oh, everybody was here. Every 50 years of yeah. Inside, right? Oh. Yeah, I did see you at that. Yeah, I did see you. Damn. I did. So I what did. I did, That's every hard. rapper wow. that was inside that building that day is on this. And the mayor of Atlanta, Andre Dickens. On the back, you'll see oh Jeezy, <laughs> Ludacris, Baby D. That's hard. Um, so, yeah, everybody there, everybody except I think Quavo, I didn't get. Mm. But everybody else was Damn. able to sign this. So, like, you may have this starter coat, right? Wow. You may have the starter coat, but nobody in the world is going to have wow. like, nobody. 50 years. Like, look. Wow. They both saying, my man, New Face, salute, my boy. Wow. Rico, and I just forgot. Dang. He reminded me. Rico Wade signed this. So, shout Damn. out to him. Um, Rico Wade, Dungeon SMP. Family. He was signing a player poncho. Wow. So when you talk about the collection, DJ Ace, who is Jeezy, DJ, Coach K, like the Damn. names on here, like Scotty ATL, Gip, Mr. College Park, like this, I can go on and on. Do you like, keep these things like in bags or like in frames? Uh, like I uh, feel like. On the hanger in the new face room. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, new right. face room, I like that. Face room. Um, I like that. So like I said, the phones when I got here to Atlanta, I still got Damn. the Okay. Damn. <laughs> Bro, it's the fucking antenna for me. Yes. Hold on, hold on. See, back then, yeah, you back. Can you hear me now? Yo, y'all remember that snake game? Like snake game. Oh, I used to tear that snake up. Oh, I used to tear that snake up. Oh, that's good. Best I used to. Oh, y'all remember this? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I had one. Me too. It's different though, right? Okay, so what's in that one? It's freak dick, bitch. This is different. You see, it says DTP. It's La La Mama. Hold on. I ain't giving this to y'all, y'all. So this is different. DTP. This oh, is, oh, this so this is, is the this is the invitation to Ludacris's Red Light District party. So look at this. Watch oh, what that's you hard. see inside there. We about to bring that back. Uh, she trying to click through. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't want. Oh, okay. No, nah, yeah. I didn't want to touch you. I thought. Oh, I know. I couldn't. I no, couldn't. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like, oh, shit. Fucking yeah. shit up. It's real shit. Those are artifacts. Yeah, you better right. take care of that bitch. Wow. All right, pass it on. Pass the artifacts no, on, bitch. But no, no, wait. I have to stop you real quick for this because for DTP, I was in, um, I was my seventh grade year. I was mm -hmm. such a fan in Cincinnati. Hell Remember no. when spray painting was a thing? Mm -hmm. I got my case with spray painted with DTP, and everybody thought that shit was so funny. They made you fun case of it. Oh. But I did, and you it just so made ghetto. me think about that. Uh -huh. Because I was Let's such a bad fan. Get that but get that back. Back. And mine signed by Shaka Zulu, who is the CEO Ooh, of DTP. Oh, we know who Shaka oh, is. Saying, so like, Big Shaka. Wow. Solid nigga, you may have got down. So, take or nah. so like you That's may have major. that, but you may you have right. that version, right? Nah, That's for right. real. Um, if y'all don't know, it's promoting an album release ooh. and it got dancers on here and everything. I think this is for a party idea. This That's is motherfucking genius. genius. And everybody, like they gave it to every, that was the invitation. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's genius. But I, I remember as a kid, I had, do? The, they dropped I had the lady in the <laughs> tramp one. Remember Lady in the Tramp? Yeah. Remember, because they used yeah. to just remake movies. Yep. And you watch the movies in this. Wow. Um, That's this hard. one right here. That's you see what this oh, is, wow. Right? Yep. Trap Classic music. tip. Oh. Classic tip. Trap music. Oh, oh my tape. God. Classic tip shit. So like I was Bruh. saying, like, and I always say, like, you may have the cassette tape, right? You Classic may. tip. You may. But, but what they you got? What they got? You ain't got. You is, don't have that. It's your sign by T.I. Yeah. David Banner. Yeah. Jazzy Faye. Yeah. DJ Toon. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Collins, every producer that was on here. Because first of all, you wasn't way. just happy with T.I. signing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you know what? Uh, you pulled up, you <laughs> had that cassette with you, Eric. That's crazy. And he that's celebrated hard. 20 years of this because we did the uh, orchestra, the symphony orchestra. So to take this there, and that's the day I got Harris Harris first autograph. 
Uh, Harris was smart. Smart. That's uh, what he just did to be smart. Smart. She going crazy. She's so cute. She yeah, was like, Tip was like, I ain't even. Yeah, he's smart. Like, I see it. Smart. She's I so Aaron's cute. First, first of all, your stuff, smart. we didn't even mention like the value, the That's actual right value of your stuff. So I'm a father. Wow. I'm a father with daughters. So this was one. Is that Regine? Regine autograph, Lil Wayne autograph. Wow. Right? wow. Yeah, she was dating Lucci at the time. So it was a basketball event with Lucci. And so she signed this. That Look day. how, hold up. Do y'all see how Reginae. little Wayne like a 12 year old kid right there? Wow. Wasn't at the time. I mean, this is, how old wow. was he? Cause he looks. He probably was 12, 15. 16. <laughs> y'all, yeah, he looked like, like, can I see it or not? Nah. Can <laughs> we touch it or not? Can we touch it? No. Oh, you, you forget how, how young Lil Wayne is. I miss those magazines with the Me hair too, and everything. Bro. 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 said this was his favorite um, wow. magazine. With the Cincinnati fitted on. I remember, on your I remember. Yep, everybody he said, had the Cincinnati. He said he didn't want to, but Wayne said, let's take your shirt off. Wow. And he, so he signed that one. So we got that one. Yo, I'm about to cry. And, <laughs> and let you know, I don't just like old school my time rapper, like Lil Baby signed Rolling Stone. Yes, yeah. It's not just Lil Wayne, it's D-Wong wow. of Motion Family who shot the photo. Oh so that, is see, no, I learned that about you too, is like, you know the photographers, you know the producers, exactly. like you really, yeah. yeah. Look at Chris well, Brown. I feel like I remember this, Rock man. Away. <laughs> Rock away. Oh, yeah. I feel like I remember reading this, bro. Oh, yeah. This yeah, take you got, back, boy. And if we talking about trap music, Oh, to my this trap house. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, you one of my favorite uh -huh. groups. The first one is um, Goody Mob. This is signed by okay. all four members. Shout out to CeeLo. Wow. Joe, yep. Timo, right here. You got the Young Bloods in the Oh, yeah. And, and they signed right. it, yeah. Come on. Come on. Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim. Wow. See, Damn. you remember the poster? Oh, oh, the, 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 the last, the last cassette I remember yes, having oh, was Foxy right. Brown. Oh, Il Nana. Yes, broken silence, bro, I, bro, I think it was Broken yeah. Silence. Dressed with the Chinese writing. The Broken okay. Silence. See that one too, bro. That's hard, bro. I definitely seen that. And Lauren, this was a big moment. Yes, for oh, me. oh, oh, she, she got Miss Hill to sign it. I got Miss. Was she late? No, I'm just no. <laughs> I got Missy Elliott and uh no Lauren Hill and Mary J Blige at the same time. Not it's Mary J Blige. Shrimp of a woman. Yeah, that's a double win. Little Wayne, my own uh the Little Wayne autograph. So this is the block is hot. So he wow. I remember that. Block is hot. That one block is oh, hot. That, that album that. was crazy. Like, crazy. I always say one of the greatest albums in, in Southern history is gonna be. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my God. God. And mine signed by Juvie and Manny Fresh. That's that. Oh, that had that Manny Fresh on that one. one. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, my sister said, probably was like. Manny Fresh person. I'm being stupid. <laughs> My Pretty sister mild. was a little bit so older cool. than me. So she was dancing to so back that ass up on the porch. I remember that so I was like, <laughs> what is you mm -hmm. doing? Backing that ass up. The purple tape. Nah, is, nah, uh, 2000, okay? The wow. purple tape is a very special tape right here by Raekwon. Yeah. Oh, so man. People made, you know, valuable. And mine's a sign by Raekwon, Of too. course it is. And you ain't got that, hey, hey. Wow. You ain't, you ain't got that. You the supposed to be live hip hop daily all it. day. Damn. Yeah. So show, show us some of yeah, that. Yeah, like what the you fuck? See these moments, right? Wow. Y'all gangsta we... grills, right? So this T I oh, P S C who's also coming back. Shout out P S C going Damn. crazy. Damn. They got the new song called Switch. Switch and hey. Rico out right now. That shit's so hard. I was able to That's walk the so uh, red carpet with Dro and get mm. his uh, footage for him and his content. That was a price. I'm proud right of Dro, man. He's like, a reformed yeah, ass yeah, right well, yo, there, he boy. Yo, all this really, like, not, like, emotionally like, about the crowd, no, but, like, damn, right. like, it's yo, nostalgia. we can forget like, how far outcast. we came. Bro, it's nostalgic, mm -hmm. bro. Like, uh, mm. Big Boy and Andre. I can literally uh, feel, like, uh, how absolutely. I felt reading some of the shit. Scarface yeah, right man. here. Shout out to Scarface. I'm always love him. Um, this is something that was dope that again. Oh, Project Pat. Ooh, I remember when he used to have a little thing on there, the little, uh, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> this little thing. Oh, yeah, so this right here is the mixtape uh, by DJ Drama and Manny Fresh. So ah. all you do is put it to your phone and it's going to play a playlist. <laughs> and this is something like new right here. So like I said, we talking about Quisha, right? So this yep. is a birthday bash ticket. Stuff, That's hard. Right? Yeah. And this is her autograph. So Let's go. This is like her first autograph. That's yeah, like yeah. It means a lot to me right so, now. Yeah, yeah. But right, like in 10 or 5 years. Like, Man. Yeah, but you know, the great thing about you uh -huh. is like you, like you never waited till they were the exactly. people 
Wow. That they are now. You know what I mean? You see the potential in them. And salute to the girls, too. We had the girls on both of our shit. We had four ciphers, but they they definitely yes. played a part on our ciphers, and that means a lot, man. Beepers. What y'all know about beepers? Wow. You got I used beepers? To take my mama and my daddy beepers. I'm so mad. My dad bought my sister a beeper, not me. <laughs> hey. He got beepers. Hey. Beeper for my sister was younger than me. Why she had oh, a beeper? I, you, oh, I didn't know you met your younger sister. I'm weak. Yeah, they used like, to write hey, text you know, I never knew he was so fucking tall. Super tall. I oh, seen that uh, fucking interview with him the other day. Tall was cute. That's the event that we was at. It was all cash money. Um, yep. And so Whoa. one of my, she said something special right here. So this is a cassette tape. Is that Coolio? Mm. No, that's Passion Troy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I hate you. That's embarrassing, bro. I say Gangsta Paradise. I know that song. No, that's Vice versa. I'm cool. Yeah. 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 I'm fucking Coolio. So while, while we looking at these things, I want you to hey, talk about a topic Coolio, that man. I think is very important, and I mm -hmm. saw you post about it. Mm -hmm. So, like, talk about the importance of checking on your strong friends. Like, even though you're doing great things mm -hmm. in this industry, you know, we had um Chris Lighty, so many other people, yeah. with Webby's DJ, and um, just a lot of people go through shit. So talk about the importance of like checking in on people and this table's like crazy. He done yeah. bless um, him. Yeah, you know, this is nuts. No, that's that's very key because mental health is probably gonna be my mental muscle and my heart is gonna be probably my one of my greatest assets. Amen. Whether I'm recognized for it or not. But I really care about my friends. Like Amen. like whether they at a show or whether they like when I call my friends, it ain't I never asked them for nothing. Yeah. How you doing? Cause you don't get. I, and I notice when I call them, like they, it seems like they're waiting for the the hook, right? I'll be waiting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I and I get that. So I'm calling like, you good, bro? How the family? How the kid? That's the conversations that I have. And I and I send. I have a circle of friends. I have an acts of Facebook every day. There's a positive quote or a mantra mm -hmm. or words of affirmation. I don't know who it hits or it's for. I send it. My spirit tells me. Maybe they need it. I don't be every. I don't have a yeah. circle yet, but I do. Like this seems like what they're going through. Maybe they feel this, and I send it out to my circle of friends. And every time, knew I needed this. Mm -hmm. That's 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 all I that's all I can get from that. Yeah, and, and mental real. health is the strongest thing because I care more about that than any Grammy record or any tickets, any access that I can yeah. get. How you doing in real life? How your children doing? Because I see like Killer Mike and. My daughter and his daughter did a whole thing where his daughter was dressing dolls and made the clothes for my daughter made uh, flower pins. So they were real entrepreneurs and they were spray. And I'm sitting, me and him, and this is Killer Mike. Like this is not, but it's my friend, but this is like an artist to the world. And like, this is beautiful. But we talking about family, no rap, no industry shit. And that to me, to your point, mental health is going to be where I'm always at. Don't, you don't have to call me. You can call me just to talk or vent or anything, not about asking anything so i'm always but strong friends because i i know i need it it's people that you know what i'm saying that i listen to and they're on their page like tony marie had a message that they on her page that i'm usually sending her stuff but i'm like no i needed that one like today you know what i'm saying because i'm just all this trips and stuff it's overwhelming because i, I didn't see this for myself mm. so it's, it's different for me and I, you know it seems like fame so i i used to always run away from fame right mm. but it looks like fame so i do I step into it? But everybody, no, step into your purpose. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But you have to be mental. And the thing that I told my daughter is like, think of a pyramid. A pyramid is based off a foundation, right? Right. As long as the foundation's straight, mm -hmm. we good. But if it's built off the top of the pyramid, and you, you're going to wobble, right? And if your foundation ain't strong. So my goal was always to build the foundation and the relationship and make sure my friend's mental health is at the top of his space. So before I ask, do you want to do this show? Do you want to do this show? Are you okay? Absolutely. So to your point, you know, I'm here and progress report is like, okay. that thing, you know what I'm saying? You can't progress without mental health. Right? Okay. No, That's a we don't talk about it enough. And then lastly, so right oh, here, yeah. this is probably going to be the most special. Michael. As hard as fuck. This is a Michael album because one, he won three Grammys in three of the year. Motherfuckers. He won album of the year, three Grammys, but album of the year at BET, BET Awards, Award, right? Yep. But also because I would happen to be with Fable and Stank on you. Um, and then Mike said, you think we could bring Fable tomorrow? And I called Fable when he trusted me and said, all right, new, we'll pull up. And he pulled up because Mike wanted on this song. He said an R&B person like a D'Angelo or somebody is singing. But Fable, mm -hmm. he said, oh, let's just try Fable. Hold up. D'Angelo to Fable is crazy. <laughs> right? right? I right? don't even know how. Right? But he wanted a singer. He just know he wanted soul, right? Yeah. Okay. But you, Fable, you don't think so but when when so feel fable went in the studio and where he laid down and fable we all in there thing. doing like this Fable and clapping and we was like no that's the one 
So, and I had to like keep that secret for three years. And then when it came out, three years, three years, because we were in studio. So when this came out, and I'm supporting it because it's still my friend, but now I know Fable attached to it, who yeah. I'm working with, right? So he gets the Grammy. So now Fabo get a Grammy. But when you open this up, it's like a, a mm. shout outs and thank yous, right? Of everybody that's part of the ah, album. That's right? so good. That's hard. And then when you open this up, ah. what does that say? Versus, you can read even those. Reggie yeah. Ross, Little Bankhead, shout out to New Face. Shout, <laughs> out to, <laughs> shout out to Maurice Garland, Brandon Peters. I taped here. Sonia Murdy's mm. for Day One Radio. I taped in this building. So Yo, but that goes such a long way. Like, even showing your appreciation. Like, you won this, but, like, even showing your appreciation to everybody that helped yeah. that. Yeah, every process. You gram won a Grammy, too. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is early. Wow. Like, so yeah. you yeah. That's hard as fuck. Damn, oh, my God. I don't know that song. You know, oh, yes, you do. You, you know when you hear it. You know I'm serious? You heard it. Yeah, yeah. Let's break it. And so the difference is, it's too. Like I gave I it to us, okay? Yeah. He was giving us all kind of vibes. And so know? the difference with this, like I said, yeah, Ti, big Ti, right? Yeah. That's lit, bro. Ti is the DL Warfield who did every Goody Mob, every Ti logo, every Goody Usher's album. He See, he it. know everybody, y'all. Kawan That's Prather. what I'm saying. Kawan Prather, who whose label this is? Ghetto yeah. Vision, who put out Young Bloods, Ti, Bub, um, Ray Cash. You know what I'm saying? He signed this, so that. And then we can go back to early. Just at birthday bash, we got Monte. This is East Side, West Side, right? Classic, mm -hmm. baby, baby D. Shout out to little baby D. R.I.P. Uh, little C too, but this is this is special because you know Um Camp. That's who was running this when I Hell first yeah. Yo. had it on Smash. Yeah. They had the stores. They had Um Camp TV. Jelly. We heard cake. Um Camp like real worldwide. That's the thing. I ain't know what it was till I got here. But yeah. when you hear them songs mm -hmm. and you hear Um Camp, come on, like yeah. We Big all grew camp. up off of that. Yeah, and lastly, my three special things that I would just say, um, I was just in LA, and again, relationships, right? So Absolutely. I get there, and the young lady here had her brand called Quasar Crunch, right? Mm. So she freeze dried like candy. So these are skills I'll let you yeah. try these as well. Let me yes. experience, but okay. see them business out there and support to be somewhere because I always wanted to travel. I said that self, I wanted to travel outside of Atlanta. Like I don't want to say I hit a ceiling in Atlanta, but. I really kind of know everybody, of so I, and you, it's re repetition yeah. kind of gets boring. So I, I said I, I'm gonna travel. So I did the Rock the Bells cruise. We did the Dreamville Fest. We did Essence Fest. Oh, I did yeah. L.A. with BT uh, <laughs> Awards. So I've been traveling, and so to see these experiences and meet people out there, and what I notice is, shit, they know me there. Like That's right, crazy. so I, I can't be like, oh, I want to be lost. Like I, be, I do search for that feeling like oh show me something cool and i do get that but and that's why i had this experience in la this time is like let me see how y'all enjoy la and i'm gonna mm -hmm. just be a the tour person and i had a fucking great time right there um but nipsey this right here mm -hmm. nipsey hustle mm -hmm. right here so you may have the cassette and it you don't but nobody in the first world first of all that's a new that's off his Vicky newest Lap, that one yeah Grammy nominated i didn't even know he had a cassette to that yeah, exactly <laughs> so you may even if you have the cassette nobody in the world i've documented and this is the progress report somebody want to challenge me Ooh. hey I'll, I'll, I'll put this on display i put it on auction on ebay if somebody got this autograph you know what i'm saying we're gonna put it on ebay and, and profits go to progress report because listen I, I, believe that. I was gonna say profits <laughs> oh, no. and go to you but yes the progress report <laughs> yeah I got eBay account. You want me to put oh, it? Yeah. Oh, man, I want to challenge you. My shit. So, <laughs> man, <laughs> and Outcast. So this is the very first Outcast. Cause this is their very wow. first single. Wow. Very Damn. first single that they ever put out. And then this is again new star that I told you. Okay, so I want to. So this was the invitation to my exhibit that I had. I had a museum That's downtown. Wow. So I gave these out. So I remade. That's so it says. Right. Like instead of trap music, it says mm. new star music. It That's looks right. just like the Ti. If you put them together, it looks yep. just like the Ti. Oh yeah. That's big. That's hard. That's hard. Party and yep. boot, party and new face. So right. look, yeah. so you have amazing things, but I'm sure there's so many artists there you go. and so so oh, much thanks. stuff that you collected that maybe just didn't go nowhere, or like that artist didn't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Do you like keep that stuff or? Oh yeah, that's the thing. That's I never throw anything. That's, yeah, and that's a great question because I'm really thinking like. That's a good I mean, you ain't but that. no, really, the, the, you ain't never make it. Cause I mean, no. even I footage you I had, yeah. footage I recorded of me at the club at like seventeen or something. Yeah. At that time, you just take it for what I have it one. is. Okay, I have one. It's come to mind. Yeah. Racks on racks on racks, right? Damn. Oh, right. I, I, I see. I did, and I tried exactly. to get that interview, no, but, but go ahead. No, but I got that day their got video. Deep. That video, I got his autograph. But oh. who, who blew up? 
Future. future. Exactly. So Super I wasn't future. thinking about future at the time. Uh, not, so, uh, not full circle moment. I have no future autographs. Uh, okay. yeah. But I was there in my head for YC because I yeah. love the song and it was a video shoot. But then I got his autograph. True. I don't want to say he didn't go nowhere. Yeah. No, no, I, no, I get it. On the flip side, it. like, I have a file of um, footage like like Nipsey as well, but Trouble, Ra Ra. Man. Like, um, Bankroll Fresh, uh, Takeoff. Like, these autographs that I'm like, like, it wasn't supposed to go down like this. We were supposed, like, they, they saw it in me. They was like, oh, in 10 years, you're going to pull this out. Like, and it, and it hurts me. Not hurt, but I see little baby sign autograph, and he'd be like, y'all want this so when I die. Dang. And I hate that he feels that way because it's this generational gap. He doesn't yeah. know the value in it. But these new artists, they don't see the value in that. That's why I love to see a crit or um, mm -hmm. Killer Mike do physical copies because we still need Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Um, Gunner did an in-store at DBS Sounds. That's where I shop, shop at. Um, independent black owned retailer been there for over three decades in Riverdale, but he did an in-store Gunner put out his album and sold 15,000 more than, um, the weekend. Damn. And I attribute that the to weekend? the weekend. So I attribute that to, because he went to three cities and did three in-stores right. and those people were in line and there were young ladies in there that didn't know what a CD was. They was like, yep. but they know if they buy this, I get a picture with Gunner. 100%. Now if that's where they see the value, that's fine because they bought units. But it brought people to meet the artists, and we don't have that anymore. Okay, so hold up, mm -hmm. and let me. Okay, what, what's now? What's your thoughts on the Gunner situation in, in terms of the 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 social media outrage and people not supporting him, but people are supporting him? I I, I don't subscribe to because it's, it's this whole thing about street, and I don't ever subscribe to street values, street laws. If it's good music, and, and people always say a hit song will make you forget anything, right? Mm -hmm. And is the is the music good? Right. That's all I'm at. I don't I don't attribute to it. And I've never been that person to pick a side or nothing. I, I don't have that in me to pick a side. Like if I fuck with you, I fuck with you and I'm going to die. I'm the sink. I'm a, the boat going to drown with us both. Like but with him, he's a great artist. I've met him before. I'm not the biggest fan, but a vibe is a vibe. Right. And I went yeah. to the show and he I went, my sure. daughter like my daughter loves him. Like I took her to the show three years ago with Thug and like to see her. I, I don't want to take that away from her. Yeah. yeah. Like I got another daughter to put me on the lotto. I wasn't the biggest fan of lotto, but be and my daughter freestyle for lotto. I didn't even know she rapped. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. This is my time, Dad. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. You sit back, Dad. Respectfully. And I'm recording this shit again, but I'm sitting there like, and Lotto <laughs> over there doing this. And, but because of that, the, me and Lotto got a relationship. So, wow. Trap Music Museum to her headline a birthday badge. She remembered, I'm bringing out the freshman cover. She signed three years. Like, but be, my children are putting me on. It's not like we have these off score, but I'm just, so I can't, my mother let me listen to everything in my same, father. Same, you know, I don't same. have that story where I couldn't listen to it. Or I had yeah. to hide it under my mother. Facts. Let me listen to it and let me cuss. Yep. Like, <laughs> let me pop. And if I had to pop or the rest of element where we can rap together, that was great. But she never was like, son, don't play that or nothing. So I, so I do that with my daughters, whatever Amen. it is like, and they, they lost. And I hate because of Gunner situation, thug situation, extension, because my daughters were mm -hmm. fans of those. So mm -hmm. I got to sit there and I'm like, that's, I don't look at them as a pop. But that's their version of a that's pop. Right. I like I mean. cried when Aaliyah or Nip, like Nipsey, what? I sat in that public parking lot because they said he shot. I don't even drive by that public by my house no more because it's, it's an anchor. Like every, wow. I don't want to remember that because I thought he was gonna make it. So to your point, Me too. there are those persons where I get something and be like, dang, they didn't make it. But I see them in real life and they yeah. they remember it. And again, yeah. it always comes back to the relationships. They yeah. gonna always remember that. And I don't have a version of made it because everybody's success is different Absolutely. scotty atl started in music but he found success in grills right and yeah. david banner told him that you can always come to music <laughs> try dp henson like and shout out to scotty he's going through what he's going through and, and i he lives through me we talk a lot but he can't get around right now so i'm like i'm wearing your grills i'm doing this every time for scotty right and taraji p henson is wearing yeah, his grill Issa ray is wearing his grills in there so i'm where he at yeah like, they got them fast people so yeah. i'm in a room for other people that's not there because people <laughs> bring my name up in rooms and i'm not in so mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so to y'all point hey everybody gonna have a version of success yeah. and, and if i was that's there fast. i'm gonna clap and i'm gonna ha I, I guarantee i probably got something yeah Here so i have know. a question because mm -hmm. you kind of said this like quick and i don't think people got it all right so you know how they nowadays like they count record sales and the record sales don't comp not even comparable to like back in the day or, yeah physical copy. only because we're paying for streams yeah. you know what i'm saying so record sales count as people buying records uh well buying the whole album online but also the actual cd mm -hmm. so like when you're saying gun is actually hitting these stores and people are buying cds like that's something that we're not even thinking like people it's 
people would love to take a picture with you to buy a fifteen dollar C D when like that would definitely but help record that sales that we don't think friends, about. The thing that I'm telling my artist friends is that you're leaving money on the table, Absolutely. though. Absolutely. Like, Benny the Butcher w- did the same thing. Like, this can be a late. But imagine as an independent artist. Like, meet me at DBS Sounds. If you fuck with me, I'm going to have my autographs, CDs, tapes, and cassettes, vinyls, and everything you need. Meet me here. And you and DBS Sound bust down that money. Ain't no middleman. Yeah. You Whoa. get to meet your fan. And that experience, imagine in five years, Absolutely. you're going to be like, Man, remember D, that's what I that's who I am, right? This is that's who I am. So I know and I see it because I work with uh Tobago out of there. So mm. I, I'm at every in store. Yeah. Oh no, no. Project. Patrick. So <sighs> I'm at every in store. So I'm at every in store yeah. watching and watching the people. And I'm I'm a fan too, but I, I do my, I do my new face, but I like to just see the other people because I'm looking at the version of me mm-hmm. and yeah. other people and like does it can it still exist? So I got a question mm-hmm. to like back off that. So mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. what? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> She own it. <laughs> nah, because we talk about record sales, right? Mm-hmm. But then we also see where they say, like, Sexy Red ain't sell no albums, no albums right? Yeah. But then me as a DJ, I'm like, yo, that's the go-to record in the Spinning. club. Do you think Red record like sales even matter? Mm-hmm. And are people making their money other ways? Like, just as a hip-hop historian, do you think album sales no that's matter. that's exactly what's going on they don't see the value in record sales anymore so they have mm. to resort to the other businesses the other opportunity the liquor licensing they have to back in the day when i bought this and this this it wasn't no clothes it wasn't no outcast clothing then it wasn't no you know state, the, the pit bull yeah. kennels it wasn't andre wasn't doing art this is all they had and i mm. went to tower records at 12 a.m and got this okay. call and waited in line and, and waited for my autograph, right? To now see them be Billboard's number one hip hop group. Mm-hmm. And Big Boy said it on the news, like, hey, either you there or you wasn't like New Face. Like for him to know me, but that's my first autograph. Like this is Outkast, this is Dre. Yo, but imagine if Sexy Red went to like, um, Yo, hood sneaker but she store. Says she doesn't like it, talking she don't to like people. Meet she don't want to do yeah, pictures. She don't she like, like meeting greets. So see what I'm saying? So. But they don't see the value, even the money. So to her point, I get it, but she don't see the value. She's like, I don't like taking pictures and all these people I don't know. And I don't, I don't, that's why I fuck with DC Young Fly because he'll mm-hmm. adjust to every situation. But there's some people that's that just won't adjust. And, and I get that too. Right? I don't, I don't want to convert Because yo, that's what if you, you said like, if you buy this, you get a free t-shirt, right? But every time you buy this, you think you're, fuck, fuck that because I could stream that, but I'm getting a free t-shirt. But every time you buy this, that goes towards my album sales. Because you're buying, you're technically buying my out. Packs. Yeah, Travis Scott does that. Yeah, you get yeah. the the bundles. That's where the bundles came in. Because right, that's they deep. Money out the music, right? Yeah. So they said you buy the stream, you're gonna get the the yeah, Huncho Jacks. T- yeah, yeah. Oh, Love. The McDonald meals. You know, Absolutely. all that comes into play because they don't see the value in it. There is value. I'm at DBS Sound Criminal Rec Money Bag. Yo, just yeah, did an in store at, at Criminal go, Records, yeah. right? Yes, he does. And I'm there, and this is a new artist. So, but he's. He's adjusting, so yeah. I'm always applauded if you're Respect. just trying to try it, right? Mm. But I don't never want to force you, but there is value in there. It's just, I think, my job to show them the value. 100%. Because look, at, I, I didn't think this for me as a fan, but imagine, I want little Baby to have these, I want Gun, I want Thug and these people to have these fans right now. So yeah. that's why I'm going to celebrate a Tonea, a Quisha, a J-Lock now, because yeah. show the, their fans what that's supposed to look like, right? That's you know hard. Because they have their core, and they families before I even jumped in the picture. But For sure. maybe I can show you that there's value in what you're doing, not just to this, but to them mentally. Like, that's going to push them to the... That's I love I that. Because the people push me, like, money-wise. Like, if somebody said, no, you need to put a price on what you're doing. Like, honestly, I I didn't see it, because I, I owned an Avis, so I had... I owned the franchise, so so you was getting money, all right. Oh, you know, but so, but I had to sacrifice. Yeah, I wasn't in my purpose, so I had the money, but I wasn't mentally where I was supposed I to be. That, yeah. I had to lose that and then find the money and then survive and struggle and and, and then damn, did I make the right decision? Yeah, to get to where I am now, I ain't where I want to be, but I'm great, better than where I was before. I'm yeah. confident. I haven't had a job in like 13 years, and that's all that matter. <laughs> I never had a job, so I, I think I won, right? Yeah. yeah right. Yes, sir. Respect, respect, nah, respect. I love that. Are we going to do the wrap it up segment? Damn. I can't think right? you should wrap it up. Oh, should we do that wrap it up, sir? <laughs> yeah. Like, so I know I suck at this yeah. game. I don't suck at this if game. I'm that's saying, all I'm saying. If I said two lines or just one? 
it's, I think clarity. it's one, right? All right, okay, that's what so the All right, tell me so, the rules. Yeah. All right. So for the wrap it up segment is we all say like I'll start out with a line and we're just going to rhyme off of that. But we're just saying a line. We're not. I think not a real song. See, that's what bar, I, Yeah, we in this bitch. A bar. So we free to improvise. You just made up. Yeah, I mean, you said I had to make sure. So we free. Already taking that. No, we freestyle. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Off the dome. And then you said re re say it. So if it's her time, she gonna re say what you said. No, we ain't gotta re say it. We just gotta rhyme. It just got. It just got. Okay. Okay. This fucking sucks. Oh my god. All right, now I got this. Come on. Okay. Who started? Who are you going? All right. So. Oh. We're going down. Whoever <laughs> messed up got to take a shot. All right. All right. Which way? Which La, way I'll up? start. La La sucks. It's no hate. <laughs> Why you ain't get me to sign my own mixtape? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I got bars and you from Mars. See, you you that does line. not rhyme with what Excel just said. That's why I said y'all say one line. That's why I said y'all say one line. He can pick it up. I don't no, know. No. Not he can. <laughs> Just say one line. I need to get the line. <laughs> Just say one line. That's why I said like. That's why I don't rap. Am I too much of a rapper right now? <laughs> this bitch got mirror. Just, uh, what's the shit? What? Okay, just say ahead. one line. That's just say right, one so line. Now I'm starting it. All right, so boom, boom, boom. Yeah. All right. What I was drinking. Oh, well, I'll start with her bars. But oh, she yeah, has to say. I mean, he has something start, like. I, I had something. All right. Deal like yeah, I had something. All right. Y'all ready? Progress. All right. It's the progress of poor new face in the building. All right, really, what rhymes a building? Children. It's always an issue. <laughs> Gazillion. Gazillion. Billion. You ain't Billion. got the bars. You ain't got the bars. That's what it building. is. Building. Ain't got no bars. Building and billion? Billion. All right, all right. Reset. Reset. Let's... Yeah, because I, I believe y'all be right, considerate. Come on, come on, come on. Come on all right. Let's go. Cat hat back. All right, because Brent like this. I'm drunk. I drank alcohol. Okay. <laughs> and like that's I'm saying like, why, why would you say like, okay? Like, why no. would you name building? I right. right. oh right. you still mad about the building? Yeah. No, it's really just because you lost. Take your shot. I that's really lose. what it is. Excel lost, I lose. and she's trying to. We you, need to get to new face. Come on, I know. Like I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna go ready. this way. I'm gonna all go right, this come way. Let's all go. Right, come yeah. on, I'm ready. These hoes can't rap. These hoes can't trap. <laughs> And you know what I'm saying? We drinking and I got all my raps, cassettes. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hey, let me say this. Rap, cassette, this is why we do what we do when we don't oh, rap. Man. You know what I'm no. saying? Right. Everybody right. lost and I won. Everybody got to take a shot. Okay. Take a shot. Take a shot to New Face Come being on, here. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. Trash. So, so, okay, we got this question we ask all Salute. our guests face. This question that we ask all our guests, mm -hmm. you know, our keyword is progress. What does our keyword progress mean? New face. Progress. Um, evolution, growth. Um, are you evolving? Are you growing? Mm. Are you better than you were yesterday? Like I look at things I did yesterday and I say, how can I be better today? I go to sleep saying, yo, guys, you did your one, two today. And then it's like, God be like, no, wait till tomorrow. Right. Mm. And so I'm okay. ready for what tomorrow looks like. And is it progressive? Like, did I do what I did yesterday? So like, even now LA was great, but like, how do I top LA? Like on, now, you know what I'm saying? The relationships. So to me, progress reports mean like, are you better today than you were yesterday? And are you adding value? Adding value. Adding I love value. that, man. Yeah. Well, face, we got a progress <laughs> report for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, and are you going to keep this? No, I, and I need, oh, I can need you autograph it. Okay. If I can, if I can. Yeah. Keep if that. I can. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to, we going to give them, uh, I said give them, damn, I have a speech in front of me. <laughs> we're going to give you Obviously. a progress report. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. And we got some gifts for you and then we're going to have you bless our locker. We need your signature this time. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Signature and a sticker. Will it, can a sticker yes. on that? Yes. Yeah, Will it be the yeah, first sticker? Yeah. The first one. The first one. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, first one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but man, new face, we we truly appreciate you for not even just being here for what you do. Yes, it's, it's very motivating, for and for you know, I would call myself a hip hop nerd. So mm -hmm. I, I love to see other people that are students of the game and really adding value, being an asset. So thank you, thank thank you, you. for blessing us. And here is your progress. Not the straight A's, though. Okay. Straight, A's. Straight, straight, straight A's. Straight A's. But look. It's yeah, the practice for it until the next time because you got to come back. 
We out. Okay. We out. Yeah. New face it was this. It's official, baby. All A's. Let's go. Yeah. The show and tell yeah. took over. Look. The Progress Report.